All right, I want you to watch closely. That was a jump cut. And if you don't believe me, I wasn't holding this before. Here's a little editing trick I do in a ton of my videos, whether it was to hide a long breath or just to hide something that I messed up on, which happens in all my videos and probably happens in yours. Now, a little disclaimer for you, I'm gonna be showing you in Final Cut, but this will work in any editing software. There'll just be one or two things you'll have to do a little differently, but this is just kind of a general editing tip and it will work in Final Cut, Premiere, DaVinci, any of the major three. So to get started with this, let's head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, so we're over to the computer and before we get started, I don't know about you, but like I literally cannot see things on a computer screen. So let's fix that real quick. There we go, much better. All right. You wanna start by opening your editing software and you wanna have two clips that have something wrong in between them. Now I do have to say that the only way this is for sure gonna work is if the subject stays in relatively the same place. So if you're leaning way to the left of frame and then you take a long breath or you have a mess up and then the next time you're leaned all the way over to the right like this, there's gonna be some pretty obvious movement because the subject is moving. But let's say you just fumbled your words and you messed up and then you need to go back there and do it again, or you take a really long breath, this will be perfect to get rid of any of that without you having to do a jump cut that's so obvious every time. All right, first I wanna show you that last clip I showed you uncut so you can see what we're working with. All right, I want you to watch closely. That was a jump cut and I, that was a jump cut. And if you don't believe me, I wasn't holding this before. All right, as you can see, there wasn't only a pause between me picking up the thing of yarn, there was also me messing up once. And we're gonna fix that right now. All right, so you wanna start by cutting out all of that mess up or that long breath or whatever it is you're trying to get rid of. All right, so after you do that, all you wanna do is you wanna kinda zoom into the point on your timeline where you made your cuts, and then you wanna go over to the transitions tab. You wanna look for this transition right here if you're using Final Cut. In Final Cut, it's called Flow, but in other editing softwares, it might be called something different. But basically, all this is gonna do is basically be a constant power change of sorts. So what it's gonna do is pick out the part of the image that's changing and only cross dissolve that part. If that didn't make any sense to you, don't worry, I'm about to show you. So you wanna drag this transition over that cut you made and you wanna zoom into it as close as you can to the point where you can shorten it. So you wanna make sure that this transition is as short as it can be and then you can watch it through to just make sure. All right, I want you to watch closely. That was a jump. So as you can see, it already looks so much better just from doing that. So it just makes my hand kind of snapshot, but we're gonna go a step further and hide that. So what you wanna do is you want to make a compound clip or a nest sequence of that part right there. All that's gonna do is make it to where you can put keyframes on both sides of that transition a lot smoother so that you're not having to like match it up and stuff. Just trust me, it's gonna make your life a lot easier doing that. Next thing you wanna do is go to where you see the transition first start happening. So if you look there closely on my hand, you can see it's blurred right there, but the frame before it's not. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to where it's blurred and then go one frame before it. All right, once you do that, you wanna make sure you highlight it on your timeline. And then you wanna go over to your keyframes and you wanna add a scale keyframe and a position keyframe. Next thing you're gonna do is go about three or four frames forward. And then you just wanna scale it in a little bit and then reposition it to where your head is not cut off. And on your keyboard, if you're in Final Cut, you can actually hit Control V and you'll be able to see those keyframes. I didn't really like the position of that keyframe at first, so I did some more tweaking and I got it to where I really like how it zooms in. So all it's gonna do is just pull in a little bit. It doesn't have to be dramatic, but it can be if you want it to. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is add some motion blur over the top of this. Now, if you're on Final Cut, for some crazy reason, it doesn't come with motion blur. So I'll leave some free motion blur in the description below so that you can download that and work with what I'm working with. But if you're on any other program, obviously they have motion blur. Because why wouldn't they? I don't know. It's so stupid. Anyways, Apple's problems aside, what you wanna do is grab the motion blur. For me, if you're using the pack that I linked below, I use moderate motion blur too. Make sure you show the keyframes so that you can work like I'm seeing so you know exactly where to place this motion blur. So what I like to do is put the motion blur about a frame before the keyframe and a frame after. This just makes sure there's not motion blur on your whole video, but it also makes sure the whole keyframes is covered. 
All right, so after you do that, you're good to go. You can do this as much as you want. And what I like to do is to do the same thing later on in the video by doing it the opposite direction. So if you're scaled in a little bit, all you'll have to do is scale out and then reset the position. And you can do it the exact same way, the opposite. So that every time you're scaling in or scaling out, you are hiding a cut. And if you do it all right, that first clip should now look like this. All right, I want you to watch closely. That was a jump cut. And if you don't believe me, I wasn't holding this before. Here's a little editing trick I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new. Maybe you learned something new, just different than this, just in editing in general. Let me know if you have any questions below. I'm gonna keep trying to do more videos like this. So feel free, ask me anything. If anything was confusing, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments and I'll try to explain it to you or if I have to make another video on it, I'll do that too. So thank you guys, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.